Welcome back, everybody. Back, everybody. This is uh, Sticks and Flicks. This is the sticks portion of our segment. I don't think we need to say that because we're cutting the clips. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't think anyone knows what the sticks and the sticks and flicks is because it's not the hockey season yet. But okay, that's well, what that. That's what it's bats it's and shit. So well, bats is sticks. made of wood. Today we're sticks of wood. wood. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay it's, 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 it's coming together. I, I see. It's it sports sticks. You use sticks. Hockey sticks. Baseball bats are wood sticks. Okay. I, I get it. it makes right. sense to me. But Fuck let's let's sticks. let's move into a different sport. Thursday night football. Okay. Woo! Got the New England Patriots, mm-hmm. Houston Texans mm-hmm. tonight. Mm-hmm. Foxborough. Um, Tom Brady serving game three, four game suspension from mm-hmm. the Flake Gate. Uh, you got Jimmy Garoppolo, who was the starting quarterback, who was the backup quarterback filling in. He's out with the injury, sprained joint in the shoulder, and now we have the third string quarterback. You want Jacoby Brissett. He was a uh, third round pick, I believe. Yep, right out of North Carolina um, State. I don't think they ever, ever expected him to play. So, God bless him. Uh, I mean, he's going to have a really, really bad time, I'm assuming, against J.J. Watt, but most quarterbacks do. Mm-hmm. So, I mean... It's Bill Belichick though, so you know, yeah, you know he's gonna protect. Genius. And Legar- they're gonna run the ball with Legarrette Blunt. It's gonna be. They, it's gonna be a run they're game. not gonna let him hold that ball for very long. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, okay, no, no, I, I do, but I just wanted to pause for a second. You gotta look at the camera. We're talking to the audience, not Nick. No, okay, okay. No, we're talking to each other. This is a talk show. Yeah, you gotta talk to the people that are watching. Well, glance at it. I do glance back. Glance at it. it. I tried. All right, so uh, Gronkowski is coming back from a handspring injury. Patriots are finally getting him back. That's and true. how do you think he's going to do after last year's impressive numbers? Over 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns. You think he'll live up to that now, even with his uh, minor – well, it's not an injury anymore, but after coming back. I mean, yeah, he's had ACL injuries. Uh, he's had uh, forearm injuries. So, And he's put up even more impressive numbers in the past. So I do believe he's going to come back and be just as dominant as he usually is. Yeah, but, I mean, you also have the other aspect of it is, are they going to throw it to him? You know, you got the third-string quarterback. Uh, yeah, I throws. guess. He's probably not going to get that many touches, and he's probably not going to play as many snaps as he would, just knowing that, you know, Tom Brady's not going to be thrown to him, and even Jimmy Garoppolo's not going to be thrown to him, so I'm sure at that point. Well, I mean, week one, you know, New England goes into Arizona. they got the Cardinals. And they surprisingly beat them, you know. At least for me, it was a surprise because, you know, Arizona's been a dominant team in recent years. And they go in there, they win, and then they have a kind of a close game against the Dolphins, too, which was odd. It was only just a, by a touchdown they won. Yeah, but that game was over before the half. Jimmy Garoppolo got injured in the second quarter, and they were up. It was a shutout. It was like 21 or 24 to nothing. Mm-hmm. So... The game wasn't as close as the score makes it seem. They they never had a chance, the Dolphins. All right, now on the other side of that, the Houston Texans. Uh, how are they doing, Joe? Uh, they're 2-0. Uh, they just beat the Bears, but, I mean, let's be fucking honest. Who can't beat the Bears? Can't beat the Bears. <laughs> Bears are cursed. I believe that. The Bears are cursed. Why do you believe that they're cursed? Because they suck, that's why. I mean, they're just terrible. I don't know what else to say. They have a shit offensive line. Uh, I mean, obviously you can see that because he's fucking yeah. Jay Cutler's now injured. Well, I mean, now <laughs> they're versing New England Patriots this week. How do you think they're going to do against them? Probably get crushed. No. Who's going to get crushed? Yeah, Texans? Yeah, Texans. Oh, so you, you take New England? Yeah. yeah. All right. What about you, John? I, too, think that New England's going to win, and it's mostly because you don't ever count out Bill Belichick. They're also playing home. They are playing in Foxborough, which is always, you know, a perk to play at home. But yeah. you just – if there's anything anybody has ever learned over the years, it's you do not count out Bill Belichick. <laughs> no matter what. The guy always finds a way to win the game, and I think no they're going to uh, I'm, I'm going to say New England wins too. Uh, I just don't believe the Houston Texans are that, what it takes. that good of a team. Uh, just – I didn't mean they, they have J.J. Watt, but they just, um, they're just not that good of a team. No. But they're really not that old of a team. Yeah, they're like they used to be the Houston Oilers, but uh, they ended up moving. I don't remember where they moved to. Um, and then, uh, and then they they like just got that a team back in Houston not that long ago. Mm-hmm. So, so. Well, yeah. So this this Giants game. Giants. I mean, 
You got divisional game, Giants Redskins this weekend. Uh, Giants are two and zero. Redskins, they're just they suck. <laughs> Plain and simple. Well, that Redskins game last week, suck. I heard it was supposed to be uh, like a college game. It was supposed to be like remarkable numbers, like in like the thirties. And it wound up just being 23-26, to 26, Giants won by a field goal. Yeah. I remember everyone saying that it was supposed to be this huge game because the last game they played, last, they, last they year, get 13 yeah. touchdowns between both teams. Yeah, last the points year. Like in the yeah, 50s, between both quarterbacks. The, the points were in the 50s last year, and then it kind of wound up being a little bit of a disappointment. I mean, yeah. thank God they got the game The game was a dud, if you think about it. Yeah. It wasn't exciting. Um, no. It yeah, I mean, really you're talking about, you know, you're talking about. The first, the first yeah. touchdown was a defensive touchdown. Uh, yeah, so. Odell did catch a really, you know, Odell dropped, or he dropped a uh, a touchdown pass that was uh, ridiculous. It was like 75 yards. I don't remember what it was. I didn't watch the game, but it was like. I watched parts of it. It was one of those games that you had on that just, unless you're like a diehard Giants fan, it wasn't entertaining to watch. It was yeah. kind of slow, you know, it just. It wasn't yeah, I, yeah, I caught the last quarter and a half. But I tell you what was entertaining: the Jets Buffalo game last week. Oh man, it was a blowout, blowout. And then the Jets won, so that's why I'm a bit upset for this week um, because they have a tough game in Kansas City Sunday. Uh, both teams are one and one, and I, I believe my Jets will win, but not by much. Honestly, by, but made by a field goal in the last seconds. Yeah, my Jets. It, it could it well, could go either way it. though because the Jets should be Sorry. two and up. They should have won their first game. They and should've. Kansas City had no business winning that first game against San Diego. They were losing by like twenty something points. It was a it was a blowout, and they just came back, and San Diego just totally shit the bet. Sports. Mm-hmm. The Mets are still in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Barely. They, they had suck. a disappointing series against the Braves. Uh, the Braves are the worst team. Look, they got the swept by the Braves, right? They got swept. Wow. Yes, they got swept it's by the Braves. <laughs> the Braves it, are it's 30 very games under fucking 500. But they, they do have some hope. Uh, they have 10 games left. Uh, seven against the Phillies. And then three against the Marlins. Um, their whole... The last, like, 20, 500 teams. The la- yeah, their last, like, 21 games were all against, like, teams that had uh, under 40, uh, 40% win ratio. Mm-hmm. They had no business getting swept by the fucking Braves. That was just absurd. Yeah, that was. They just, should feel fucking ashamed. But themselves. you know, today, all over the radio, people were panicking about the Mets and that they lost to the Braves. And I understand, you know, you're not supposed to lose to teams that are worse than you, hypothetically, you know. Mm. But you know, they are a professional team. They do get paid millions of dollars to perform. And, you know, it's typical New York fashion that, you know, they, it's just set up for disappointment. I feel like there's two tiers of New York well, sports. No, and the Mets well, fall yeah. and the losers won. Yeah, that's, that's the Mets. Because <laughs> the Yankees are, are in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Yankees are fucking Yeah, you got the Mets, Jets, and then you got the Islanders. A big problem for one tier. the Mets is, you know, they made this trade. Well, all right, injuries kill them. A lot of their starting pitching hurt them. Um, Joanna Cespedes... Now he's he's okay, but he's on and off, you know, the, the DL. That trade for Jay Bruce, it, the guy hasn't done anything. He's batting under 200 to the point where he's not even in the starting lineup. And he had a chance to come back and kind of work his way out. You know, it, it's not like just a 10-game thing where, you know, the guy's in a little bit of a slump. He's 2 for 20 at, you know, at the plate. It's been two months, more than two months. The guy came in for a pinch hit, could have won the game for him, and it fell flat. You know, they, they got to do something about that because taking him into the playoffs, I don't think they're going to make it too far. I don't think so, too. But it's, it's actually surprising that they are where they are right now with all the injuries that you mentioned. You know, it's, it's pretty surprising. But well, their schedule was definitely stacked in their favor. <laughs> so, what? He's got the googly eyes again. I know. She's no so, shit. Let's, let's talk <laughs> about a team that brought in someone that actually helped when they didn't really expect it to. The Yankees. The Yankees. <laughs> Gary Sanchez is just a monster. The guy just can't fucking be stopped. Yeah, I just don't, had I don't 19 know home runs in 41 games or something? Uh, he he had 19 home runs in 45. 45. That's, that's still impressive in terms no, of... No, yeah. He's the fastest player in history. He was yesterday. He was the fastest player in history to make to reach eighteen home runs in forty five games, and then he decided to hit a second home run of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so he, that he, is one isn't enough. <laughs> I, I don't know what his his ratio is now, but 
uh, I think it was two days ago, it was he was hitting one home run every nine point five at bats, and in uh, nineteen twenty seven, Babe Ruth hit a home run every nine at bats. I think that's how the ratio broke down. So he's in the conversation for rookie of the year, and he's only been up here since August. So it it's insane. They're two and a half games out of the wild card, getting swept by Boston was a killer. If they even split with Boston, or I think they, they went 3-1. and one. If they even split with Boston, they would have been in such a good position right now. But, you know, they have uh, three series left mm-hmm. once they finish up with Tampa tonight, and it's all against people in front of them. Right. You, you, get, know? you know, Toronto is one of the series' uh, first wild card spot. You got Baltimore who has the second wild card spot. And then you also have Boston who's at the top of the American League. So it's, it's, re- it's pretty much win and in at this point. Yeah. That that yeah. has to be their mentality. Is Things need to fall to right game. for them, because you got teams like uh, Houston in front of you, uh, you got Detroit in front of you, so it, th- you know, the stars kind of have to align. But if you just win your games, then that's all you could ask for. That's all we could ask for. So, all right. Anything else we want to talk about? This is sticks and flicks, and we will be back with you with next week's sports news. You're out of here. Oh, jeez. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not going to be it. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. I got it. We'll just take, like, we'll just pull out, like, fucking Our baseballs, <laughs> fucking footballs and shit, and just whip it at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <laughs> always got If you watch this video, just at least press the like button, even if you don't like us, because I will cry. Well, with you wearing that fucking hat, no one's going to like us. That's true. It's a real hat. The Jets do fucking suck. Take that fucking hat off. Disgrace. Why <laughs> well, put that back? Burn on. it. <laughs>